teacher. Good evening. Hey, Susana. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm just fine because I'm on my parents' house right now. Oh, nice. So you have like visited at them today? Yes. That's so good. So mom's food. <laughs> yes, we ate uh, pupusas. <laughs> uh, well, but uh, made from home. <laughs> well, exactly. So made from mom food by I, mom. Wow, that that's super amazing. They have, I don't know, like a, uh, they taste differently. So different, whenever you absolutely. buy them or yes. you make them, can you make pupusas? Yes. Nice. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, what about right. you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, my mom is from Alacuita. So when I was younger, really? yes, yeah, it was like, you know what? You have to learn how to make pupusas. Yes. So I had do, to. Those pupusas are delicious. Uh, yeah. Well, yes, yes. She has like a very nice, uh, I don't know, she puts her own taste or ingredients. I don't know how to, how to call it. But yeah, so I, I had to learn how to make tamales, pupusas, you know, and everything. So I, I can That's cook. So good. I don't like it, but I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when you're married, yeah. you have prepared. <laughs> um, not really. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not happy to. <laughs> Hi, Rafael. Good evening. Welcome. Okay. And welcome evening. to joining here. Sylvia, good evening. How are you doing, guys? How is your Friday? Irving, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Are you doing home office? Did you find little traffic today? The traffic was very, very hard. Was it? Oh, yeah. okay. Well, I thought today was a little calmer <laughs> than some <laughs> other Fridays. Okay. But but do you do you you're not doing home office then? So do no, you need no, to? No. So you no. go to your company? Yes, I go to the company. Oh, okay. Well, that's I have so to bad. visit all the restaurants. What do you do? Well, yeah, that's true. I have never asked you. What do you do for a living? I remember you mentioned you are in marketing. Yes, I work at Pollo Real. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So do you get free food? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the question. <laughs> So, so do you visit do you check quality or something like that uh, marketing sales and uh, publicity ah okay so it's just marketing in general yeah yes. okay but that that sounds really nice okay mm -hmm. the good thing is that you can travel to different places i like to all the different uh oh my god my mind just went blank i forgot how to call them yes i'm in classes Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's okay. No worries, Sylvia. How are you doing? I'm good, teacher. I'm so sorry. Oh, no worries. You're fine. I totally get that. So that happens sometimes, you know, especially when I have my, my nephews and me is like, uh, Auntie, can I come? <laughs> Auntie, can you play with us? And I'm in class. So that happens. So, so that is okay. Well, guys, um, thanks a little for joining. I know it's Friday and I know it's not very common for us to be here on Friday, but this is going to be the only day that we are going to steal from you. <laughs> so thanks a lot for sharing your one hour with us. Um, I'm hoping it can be super productive and I'm hoping we can share like a lot of experiences today. Uh, part of the homework for today was to like, um, try to remember like a funny story or any story you want to share with us. So I think it's gonna be super cool. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try to, you know, share these ideas, oh, sorry about that. So to get started, I have a little exercise and also I would like you to share with us a part of the homework, part of the trivia that you have, right? But to get started, let's take a look into the following thingy. I don't know if you are very, knowledgeable uh, about uh, cultural things, cultural, I don't know, uh, general knowledge, let's say, but let's give it a try. So I have some true and false statements. 
So um, without Google, okay. <laughs> so don't ask Google. Um, let's just try to guess, all right, if they are true or if they are false. And if you know the answer, so you can expand, you can give us a little bit more into this. So what do you think about this statement, guys? The electric chair was invented by a dentist. What do you think? Is it true? Is it false? Or why? Why do you think so? Uh, uh, hello, sorry. Hi, uh, hi. I think that that can be false because a dentist can be thinking an electric chair to, to execute somebody. Okay, so this is false for you. It's false for me, yes. Okay, okay, that's a very nice thought. Okay, so a dentist cannot be thinking about okay, creating an electric chair. Okay, what about the rest of you? It's a guess, right? So what do you think, guys? True or false? I think, I think it's, it's false. False oh, as well? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, just to think logically, okay. I agree with uh, Irby. I don't, yeah. uh, Daniel, that was Daniel. Oh, Daniel, sorry, okay. Daniel. Uh, I think it's false. Oh, okay, so that would be false. Guys, I anybody else? False, false as well, okay. Oh, very false, interesting. I think. False, okay. Okay, I'm going to give you the answers later. Or do I give you the answer now? <laughs> I'll give it to you at the end, okay? So we can discuss the rest of them. But very interesting. So you mentioned it can be false. Okay, what about this one, guys? Take a look at this. The second statement says, 10% of Americans have appeared on TV. What are your thoughts here? True or false? Mm -hmm. Have you ever been on TV? Have you ever appeared on TV? Like the 10 seconds of fame, five seconds of fame? No? Never, not even in, in Harding Infantil, guys, when you were like kids with Tia Bubu and, and all those programs. Nobody has been on TV? Yes. Have you been on TV? <laughs> really? Yes, because some years ago, um, I was singing in, um, in a group of people, of mm -hmm. church people, and I appear in... Um, Christmas concert on TV. Very That's... nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, very nice. Super, super nice. It was nice. a good experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Super, super. Give me one second. The guys are asking. Yeah, we do have classes today. <laughs> okay, oh, Enrique was not here yesterday, so he was, he missed that one. Okay, so, all right. So only, only a Susana appeared on TV. But what do you think about this one? Oh, by the way, when we are talking about Americans, we are not talking about everybody who is in America, but we are talking about people in USA, right? So 10% so of Americans, 10% of people who live in USA have appeared on TV. What are your thoughts? Uh, is it true or is it false? What are your guesses? Hi guys, good evening. Hi Jolanda, great to have you. Um, I see a cell phone, but I think it's Sophie. So hi Sophie, good evening. Francisco, great to have you. Enrique, hello. I see you here already. Adrian, good evening guys. Thank you for sharing your time with us. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is, um, classes are normally from Monday to Thursday, but this is going to be the only Friday we are stealing from you. <laughs> so no worries about it. Um, so we are just trying to guess some statements. And the second one says 10% uh, of Americans have appeared on TV. What do you think, true or false? Guys, give me your guesses. I think it's false, teacher. False, okay. I think it's true. True. Okay. So your answer is true. Why? Is false. Okay. True. True. Oh. True. Okay. 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 Well, there are a lot of American programs, so you can think about it. Okay. No worries. Um, they are. But it this. depends, teacher, because if the if the I don't know a camarógrafo, I don't know <laughs> what is the name, a, a capture of the people in the street on the street or in the, I don't know, marchas, 
Ah, okay. Like some, Maybe it's true, some no? strikes, some parades. Yes, I mean, normally there are a lot of uh, strikes. There are a lot of parties, different festivals. Parties, exactly. So, parties, festivals. Uh, in USA, there were a lot of strikes, a lot of like people were going down the street to express their ideas too. So, there are a lot of opportunities so they can be captured, right, on TV. Okay. I think because of the percent must be um, more highly, I think, oh, because at okay. 10%, I, I think is too low. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, okay. So we'll check that at the end. <laughs> Let's take okay. a look at the next one. Number three says chewing gum. Chewing gum is like clorets, bubalu, right? All those candies that you normally chew. So chewing gum will stop you crying when you are cutting onions. What do you think about this one? Is it true or false? False. 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 Have you tried that? I have never tried it. Oh, I have never done it. True. No. Who has given it a try? So when you're cutting onions, right, and we start crying, chewing gum will stop it. True or false? Who has done it? I have tried but many, many ways. To, to not cry when I cook the onions. Really? You have to teach us some <laughs> because we're not no. cutting onions. Yeah, I'm no. like, the, no, este, don't uh, function. The, they don't work. Anything. Uh -huh. Because when I'm making, when I'm making like, um, Chimol, you know, like pico de gallo, for example. So I'm a Magdalena. I cannot stop crying. So uh -huh, I don't know. Maybe you have like some techniques you can give us, guys. So what would you say for this one? False? So it doesn't false. work? False. 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 Oh, yeah. false. Okay. False. Okay. Okay. What about the next <clears throat> one? Let's take a look at the next one. I sneeze. So sneeze is when you have the flu, right? And you're like... So mm -hmm. a sneeze travels at 10 miles per hour. So they False. travel at 10 miles per hour. False? True. True? True. So it's like super yeah. fast. True. 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 Oh. For okay. example, COVID. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but 10 miles per yeah. hour. 10 miles per hour. Uh -huh. per, per hour. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that's per hour. Mm, it's a guess, it so it's just fine. Like we will discover it later. 60 minutes. Uh -huh, minutes like later, yeah. 10 miles per hour. Well, we'll check that what later. Number five, guys. Ice cream was first made in Italy. What do you think? True. I think it's true. 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 Oh, most of you agree on this one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So why? What do you know? What do you know? The about name is Gelato. Gelato. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So you knew more, you had more information about this one. Well, we, well, we will take a look at it. Um, number six, we are about to finish. Number six says more wine is produced in Italy than France. It's true. True? True. Is it true? So yes. it, it is more. I don't know. It is produced more in Italy than France. Take a guess, you know, like true or false. What do you think? True. True. Okay. 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 And uh, we we'll check the next one that says um, the first underground railway was opened in New York. So an underground is one of these uh, trains, let's say, but the ones that are um, mm -mm, in a subway we have never had. Yes. So kind of a subway. Subterraneo. Oh, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's an underground. Like, oh. mm -hmm. Yeah, the first underground railway was opened in New York. What do you think? True or false? Like the first ever. What is your guess? Is it true or is it false? It's true. Is it? All right. What about the rest? What do you think? True. Okay. It's true as well. Okay, then it's says true as well. Okay, guys, and the last one. The first jeans were made by Levi Strauss, a German tailor. Is it true or false? What do you think? 
The first jeans were made by Levi Strauss. True or false? True. I think it's true. Is it true? True. true. Oh, well, most of you agree as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. in agreement also. You're in agreement as true. well. Yeah, okay, yeah. now guys, let me give you the answers, which are a little bit surprising and shocking. For example, the first one, the electric chair was invented by a dentist. Yes, no. that is true. That no. is true. Really? No, I think it's, a, a, I don't know, it's an assistant of the Thomas Alba Edison, no? I'm but not he's quite not a, sure. a, a dentist. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I mean, but like the first idea, not not like uh, the first electric chair was invented by the person, but the idea came from a dentist. So supposedly they were like pulling some teeth. They discovered that it was painful. And then the idea, you know, um, was taken from. So supposedly that is true. So <laughs> Thomas Alva Edison. I heard. Uh -huh. Long time ago, I heard that uh, Thomas Alva Edison uh, uh, invented this kind of chair. But when I uh, read about that, I found it that was an assistant from him. Oh, but okay. I don't. I am not sure. But yeah. this is the the I don't know Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is the information yes exactly that's what i found in wikipedia as well <laughs> so that it was a dentist but maybe we can investigate a little deeper into this and we can discover the truth but you know that was a long time ago i think finding uh real information is going to be a little hard but okay probably yeah probably it was alba edison it was a fake news <laughs> uh -huh, that, that is totally um a possibility here Number two, um, ten percent of Americans have appeared on TV. No, the percentage is twenty five percent. A lot of Americans yeah, appear on TV. I was right. Yeah, you were right. <laughs> so the percentage is higher. Okay. Uh, Number three, I am not sure about this. I have never done it, but supposedly chewing gum will help you when you're cutting onions. So it's true, it says, but I have to test it. <laughs> so yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, guys, next time that you're cutting onions, test it and you tell us because it says that it works. Uh, number four, is knees travels at 10 miles. No, that's not true. That is 100 miles per hour, super fast. So, and I read once, that when you sneeze, your heart stops beating. I don't know if that is 100% uh, reality, you know, or for sure, but um, I found that as a medical, um, what, element there. Um, oh, Chrisia is not here. Maybe Chrisia can tell us a little bit more. No, Chris is not here. Okay. Uh, the next one we have is ice cream. Ice cream was made in Italy. Uh, you mentioned gelato. However, I found that it was uh, created in China. It was first made in China. So I am started uh, to doubt Wikipedia's result. <laughs> so I need to double check these pieces of information, but I found that it was in China. And uh, uh, in regards to number six, wine is produced in Italy. I found that it was true. So Italy produced more wine than France. And the, the first underground, that was not in New York. That no, was in London. London. Mm -hmm. That was in London. Wikipedia. Wikipedia, <laughs> Wikipedia has it, right information sometimes. <laughs> and the last one, uh, the first jeans were made by Levi Strauss. Yeah, that is totally right. So they were trying to um, get like some jeans that, that were kind of resistant uh, to people who work like cowboys and all of them. So they decided, you know, to create jeans, the ones that we wear every day. Very, very interesting, actually. Guys, I just got these for you, but I'm pretty sure that you have more interesting questions. Um, I don't know if, I remember in the previous class, you mentioned you had some, uh, <clears throat> like part of the trivia thing. So you have your own sentences. I, I don't know if you would like to share them with us. Of course. 
Nice, that would be great. We really want to listen to them. So what do you have, guys? Uh, in my case, Godfather was written by... <laughs> okay, guys, this is your time to shine. <laughs> okay, so you're talking about the book, right? Or the... I think it's No, the book, book right? Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. So the book, the book, The Godfather, was written by... Uh -huh. An Italian... God. A guy whose oh name is. Oh my God. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even try. Guys, that, you, that's you... easy. Oh, that will work to go for it. That's easy. Uh, the grandpa, the. The, the godfather. The godfather. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Uh, uh, Mario Puzo. Yes. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. And the film. Was produced by. Wow. <laughs> 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 no, uh huh. Uh, it's Coppola. No. Francis Coppola. Coppola. Yes. Wow, I'm impressed. Very nice. Yes. Okay. He's a. I don't know. He's a, a lector, writer. He's a writer, an author, a writer. Mm -hmm. No, uh, Dagoberto is a writer. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm watching TV. <laughs> I watch wow, TV. what a memory you uh, got. Uh, wow. You come to see it or to watch it. I have, to be honest, I have never seen The Godfather. <laughs> but, okay, but I'm like, okay. Maybe I can give it a try. <laughs> okay, guys, let's listen to the rest of you. That was very good. Who else has some questions mm -hmm. for us? Who else has some part of the trivia? Me, teacher. Yes, go for it. The Hamlet was written by... <laughs> That's the only one I know. <laughs> the guys... <laughs> I know the answer. <laughs> go! I think everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, William Shakespeare. Yes. William Shakespeare. <laughs> yes. Good. Okay. Okay. Nice. Anybody else? Do you have more guys? Yeah, I have it. Go, I have it. go for it. Okay. Um, El Dinero Maldito was written by. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> and you let me know I have it. Where, 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 impossible. Where, <laughs> impossible to forget. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I guess we all read it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Enrique, we are sharing like the passive voice uh, sentences we asked you to complete like two days ago. So we didn't have time yesterday. We are just sharing them, sharing the statements. Okay. Uh, yeah, you definitely got it, guys. Anybody else? Who has more? Uh, Adrian, do you have any? Daniel, Irving, uh, Claudia, do you have any here? Rafael? Okay, teacher. Just go. If you uh, have more difficult, because these guys are good with it, you know? So if you have more difficult uh, questions, statements, that would be nice. Me, teacher. Okay, so let's listen to Adrian's, and then we'll go with Rafael. Okay. Adrian, you're okay. mute. Okay, there you go. Okay, thanks. Uh, the first airplane uh, was invented or designed by. Oh my God. I know it was brothers. Yeah. Right. Do you know the answer? Yes. Yes. Rafael must know the answer. Rafael, go for it. <laughs> Rafael are looking for the answer in their brother. Oh, <laughs> I remember I Rafael see in her glasses. He's they a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> so in his glasses, the answer is reflected. <laughs> <laughs> no, Who I, were? I don't know if the brothers right or something yes. like that. Yeah, yes. Or, yeah, or right, Bill right, and right. Wilbur. Right. Yeah, right. I kind of remember. I read like a long time ago. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Rafael, what is yours? Uh, the cow is written by? Cow? Cow. The cow. The cow. The cow. Yes. The cow. Ah, like, the is cow. that a book? Yes, yeah, book. Yeah, it's, it's a, a book, book in Salvadorian uh, writer. No. No, no, no. It's a cow, la vaca. 
La, no. Ajá, la vaca. The cow is written it's, by... It's, oh my it's, God. it's other cow. It's other cow. I never have. Uh -huh, I have never, never heard have read it. it. It's who nice. Has, it's who a has good read book. Really? Yeah. Yes. Who has, who has read about book. it? No, me, do you know the answer? Guys, do you uh, know the answer? It's a bestseller. I don't know. It's a motivational book. It's correct, but um, John Connor? No. Okay, no, who is it written by? I cannot remember in this moment. But... Camilo Cruz, somebody said? Yes, Camilo Cruz. Oh, okay. The cow, like like the animal, the moo yes. animal. <laughs> okay, I have. I recommend you. Oh, so it is a self. Uh, these motivational books they are called self help. So self help book. Oh, very interesting. Okay. okay. Oh. Yeah, they are self help book. Okay, guys, do you have another one? Do you have another sentence? Another statement there. Uh, radium and polonium was discovered by. Oh, okay, guys. <laughs> Do we have anybody here in, in chemistry? It was a novel. A woman. She's uh, the, the, the the discovery. No, it's a woman. But you're you're talking about the two elements, right? Yes. Two elements. Yes. Isn't it Mary Mary Curie? Exactly. Yes. Mary Curie. Oh, Mary Curie. Chemistry and I think chemistry and I I don't remember the other uh, novel. Chemica uh, and physica. Physic. Physica. No sé. Uh, physics. Physics. She, oh, she, wow. she, she is the unique woman that uh como digo ganado? has won. Has won, won oh. two prize uh, novels. Two Nobel, Nobel Prizes, Prize. wow. I... In, in different, uh, how do you Categories? In different categories. Yeah. Categories. Physical and chemical. Oh, wow. So, I, I... And there is a movie also, and, and the movie is, is, is so good. I recommend And a book. It. Yeah, oh. and also the book. Mm -hmm. So And they are based on her life. Well, what yes. is the name uh -huh. of the book? Eh, la, ridícula, la ridícula idea de no volver a verte, but written by Rosa Montero. Okay, but it's like I'm expected to hear about Mary and the, <laughs> the name is not related. <laughs> okay, is the book okay? Is the book all right? Is it worth it? Okay, I and, have to, yeah. I have to and, read. And the movie, yeah, you, can, you can find on Netflix and it's called Like the, like the Woman. Mary ah, okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna look for that one. I didn't know there was a movie related to that. Just Enrique, tell us. I was a question. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Who moved my cheese? Was written by. Who moved? Moved. Quién se ha Who moved my cheese? Who moved? Who moved my cheese? More than my cheese, yes. Mm, is that a movie? Is no, that a book? No, it's a book. It's a book. Who is uh -huh. story? Like, who is stole my cheese? Who stole my cheese? Okay, was written yeah, but, by? But the, but the, but, but the, the, the book is, in English is, it's not even who moved. Mover. Mover no, my cheese. That is possible because normally movies from Spanish to English, the name changes completely. So I think that could happen to books as well. So in English, you say who moved my cheese. That was written by, I had no idea that existed. By Spencer Johnson. Spencer Johnson. Spencer Johnson. Wow, guys, you read a lot. I'm so impressed. Wow, nice. I'm definitely going to be asking for more books I can read. I haven't read. Are they in Spanish or in English? In Spanish. Uh, Both, I think. Okay. Both. Yes, I recommend yes. you guys to read Eng uh, English books. They are amazing, you know. So reading in English is one of the most beautiful things that will happen to you. But thank you for the recommendations. I have now to look for that one who moved the cheese and the cow. I didn't know they existed. Okay, now let's move on a little bit. Today, we are going to be working with the storytelling. And in order to work with the storytelling, we need to use 
a couple of expressions uh, to make it more dra dra dramatically, right? So we can use, I have selected here a couple of expressions we can be using. Uh, well, first, you know that it is important to, um, to have like some logical components. So we can use expressions that, you know, like first, second, later, then, finally, but also it is important to use other elements so when you're telling a story or you're telling experience, it sounds more interesting, right? And it's like, ah, uh -huh, and then what happened? So part of the expressions that we can use some, uh, today is, for example, um, appear, disappear. And I have this one that I like a lot. It says, it looked as if, or it seemed as if or it appeared as if. So we have like this combination of words that we can use a lot. So I don't know if you use these expressions, but I totally recommend you to start using them. So we can use it seems, it seems like, or it seems as if, right? So that, that is like part of the expressions we have here. We have, for example, in the very um, next moment, in the very moment, in the next moment. So we can be combining different expressions here. We have, for example, surprisingly or unsurprisingly, the negative form. So surprisingly. Guys, repeat with me, please. Surprisingly. 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 Now let's put it together. Surprisingly. 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 That's the one. Negative, unsurprisingly. Surprisingly. There we go with this one. Uh, um, we are not going to pronounce all, pronounce all of them because you know how to do that. But for example, we have this word. We are going to pronounce it the A S as as as. It needs to vibrate. As, <laughs> so, as, as expected. As, as expected. As expected. As expected. As predicted. As, as, predicted, as predicted, as promised, as promised, as promised, as promised, as promised. There we go. Careful with this because it's as, as, so it needs as, to vibrate, as, okay? As, yes. As. Otherwise, there is another word uh, <laughs> that can be confused easily. This okay. one is with a little vibration. <laughs> yes. Like the other thing. one is open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this okay. one has a vibration. So as, like when you say as soon as, so you need to vibrate it a little bit. All right. Um, fact, okay. Yes? Fact, you can confuse as a, a bad word. You if can I, confuse if you don't pronounce as soon. Um, if it you can don't pronounce be, as soon, you can confuse with, the, with a bad word. It can be misunderstood. It can be misunderstood easily, yes. So that is why um, the other one doesn't have vibration and this one, yes. Yeah, so we do like as, like the same as this expression, as soon as. So we close our lips a little bit as soon as. So as no, soon ah, as. Mm -hmm, so we close our lips as soon as. As soon as. As soon as. As soon as. That's the one. As as. All right. Now let's go with this one. Um, we have this word that is while. So a little while later or after a little while. Maybe you will listen to this and you will use this a lot. So a little while later, after a little while. Guys, repeat with me this one, the, la the second one. After a little while. After, after a little, little while. while. After a while. After a while. After a while. while. A while. Whatever you prefer. So after a little while, after a while. This is after some time. So you don't need to complicate it. After, after some time. A while. After a little while. Mm -hmm. uh, next one is nearly. So nearly. Almost. Nearly. And close. The three of them are similar. Almost. Nearly. Close. As if by magic. Right? When something is surprising. Um, let me see. What else? What else? Oh, this one. We have accidentally and by accident. So when you want to say that something happened, you know, um, you can use the expression by accident, uh, by chance, for example. So those are very common. So by accident or by chance, 
Doing an accident, but by accident. Um, then we have, yeah, some other words like reach, arrive, and arrival that can also help you when you are um, telling a story, but they don't really interfere with any moment in your story. It's just for you to know. Okay, guys. So let's try to use a couple of them. All right. The homework assignment was to talk about the funniest thing or the, any story that you want to share with us, embarrassing, funny, and let's try to use a couple of these expressions. Remember to always use um, order words or connectors like uh, first, second, then, later, etc. So let's get into these guys. I'm going to send you to some groups so we can share the stories, okay? And then we come and in the group, you can select the one that you like the most. So the person can share with the rest of the guys here. So there you go. I'm going to be sending you there. We have like 10 minutes to share. Select one from all of them. And then we come and share. Go guys, go, 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 go. Teacher, send me to the to the uh, group. Absolutely. Yeah. Give me one moment here. Um, Teacher, okay. but I oh sorry. Do you do you see the invitation? Do you see the invite? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. There you go. You're welcome. who wore a bit hot in his head. This is the story. And this is a real story. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna say my funny history. Well, um, I remember that I was going to to send some uh, medical documents to a clinic. I have previously visited that clinic before. And uh, when I was going to send the documents, I was a little bit shocked because uh, the door wasn't the same. I mean, the first door was a glass door and when I see that, th there was a metal or it's still door, a black door. So it was kind of weird for me. And I said, I said to myself, uh, did, I, did I take the wrong direction? Or the way is, uh, I was thinking, um, did I drink enough water or something like that? And I didn't knock the, the door because I thought that it was the wrong one. So I said, all right, I'm gonna go home. But when I was walking, I realized that uh, near that was the real clinic that, were, that I was going to visit. So it was kind of funny because um, um, 
I was going to, to send that in the wrong one. And the person told me that, no, you, the, the fact is that um, there are three clinics that they are similar. The, the logo is similar. The advertising is similar. So that's why I got confused. But you didn't uh, lose the, the, the medical gate, no? Uh, documents. No, I send them. Adrian or Veronica. Okay, good evening. Uh, my story time is short. Are you sure where it hurts? <laughs> And, I, and the people who were uh, passing by saw us, uh, they are crazy, no? Um, after all, uh, we, we, go, we went uh, for an ice cream and my father was so worried, um, but at the moment passed, and suddenly I started to cry uncontrollably <laughs> because I had a terrible pain in, in, on my hip. Uh, but my father saw that it, uh, the pain um, was on my forehead. <laughs> it was so a funny lady. <laughs> And also oh, embarrassing. <laughs> yes. Someone else? <laughs> you, Enrique? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can I tell you a um, lovely history? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I, want, I want to tell you the way when I knew my wife. Oh, really? <laughs> that is interesting. Yeah. Sure. We I, like I, we I, like gossiping. So you tell us. <laughs> <laughs> um, I knew my wife in the university. We are we are classmates and the teacher and not the home of <laughs> well no uh, homework. Assigned. Assigned. Yes. And the teacher uh, told us to uh, uh, write an, a book, a book, and name it "Who Moved My Cheese." <laughs> Who moved my cheese? Yes, I wrote. Yes, I wrote my queso. And I, and I, and I think, think, look up. I think in, in the web and I share it with all girls in in email. In email. Uh, and this time not the name of we don't we don't we uh, didn't have we didn't have um, social networks uh, only only email and I I seek for the, the book and I send by emailing all, to all girls. And my wife, <laughs> it was only my, my classmate. She write me um, many times by, by email and I, I, I went to to take a coffee with with the hair and with the gun talking um, and the the, the 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 link the link was the link was the the book where the book I I I, I sell that, that's now I understand why you recommended the book. <laughs> So now everything makes sense. 
Yes, there is a special reason. Yeah. Very impressive. The book. But that sounds I, cool. I have, I have one child with, with hair. We have 14 years married. <gasps> Congrats. Years. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. And everything and everything is started with what My the what, what is the name? What the cheese move? Who moved? Who moved the cheese? Who moved the cheese? Is it right? Oh. Okay. Very Amazing. Nice. Wow. That sounds like a very nice one. Okay. Uh Francisco, tell us a little bit of your story. I haven't heard Francisco. Good evening. Uh, Hi. Uh, I don't remember teaching any, any, anything. Nothing good that has happened to you? I mean, something good, something bad, anything you would like to share with us? Uh, well, I remember uh, last, last Monday mm -hmm. when I go to, when I go to buy uh, to, to supermarket. Uh, I I forgot the, the keys the case in, in, yes. in my car. Okay. And and, and remember uh, I I was uh, called call the Ferrero. Como se dice en... The blacksmith. The blacksmith. Or the or the locksmith. Uh-huh. <gasps> okay. I was, was called. And um, only, only, only that teacher. Um, how, how did you feel at that moment? Uh, was it fun? <laughs> Were you angry? How, how do you feel? Remember, uh, I feel uh, uh, how, how much uh, nervous. Okay. I feel um, I feel te terrorific. Okay, so you felt scared. Scared, scared. Oh, okay. But at the end, did the person open your car? Were you able to get your keys, or did you have to wait a lot of time? Uh, no, remember, I... no teacher. You don't remember? I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, okay. Not a problem. All right. Yeah, but I guess that is one of the most, uh, is, I don't know, like the scariest thing that can happen to you, like forgetting your keys or leaving your keys inside, especially when it is late at night, right? So the good thing is that um, Francisco says that I guess the issue was solved, right, Francisco? Right. <laughs> so it was solved at the end. Okay. So guys, has it happened to you before? Have you been in that situation? That you forget your keys as well? I forgot the keys many times, but my mom lives near here and she has a copy. Oh, what a blessing. <laughs> Definitely what a blessing that she lives super close to your house. Okay, so you can go and ask for a copy of that. Yeah, um, I think that it, especially when it is like your car keys it is when you get worried uh -huh, because it's a little bit more problematic. But yeah, I, I don't think it has happened to me. Normally, I, I'm like, my sister is the one who has the key all the time. So I'm calling my sister. Hey, where are you? <laughs> I need a key. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, I don't think that happened. Did you listen to the story of everyone? I think I, list, I didn't listen to Sylvia's story. Did you share that already, Sylvia? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Guys, you fell. So you fell down. Yeah. And oh. I... And and I was sick and I don't get up and I didn't get up what? because I was very embarrassing. Okay, were you laughing? No, I, I, uh, what do you have it? I turn around, I turn around. Around, 
who, who, who was looking uh, at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did it. Okay. But that was not a funny story, but that was an embarrassing story. Oh, gotcha. Okay. It happened to me, you know, that was maybe the most embarrassing thing that happened to me. I was a long time ago. I was in the bus and suddenly I had one foot down and the other foot was in the bus, you know. The bus started to move and I kind of jumped, but I scratched my knee and I had braces. So I hit my, my cheek with the bus. That was horrible because my, my brace um like um severed my lips and and that was like really bad but the, the, it was really at that moment no because i was so embarrassed <laughs> that i didn't think how painful it was but it was so funny because painful, I, painful. painful. not at that moment because painful. when that happened i just stood up I dusted myself, you know, like I was like dusting super quick and I started moving. <laughs> so I was super embarrassed. <laughs> so I get your feeling. So that was like, it's really embarrassing, right? But did you, um, did you scratch any part of your body? No, no, no. I don't scratch, no. It was just embarrassing. Yes. Oh, and I see. I, I don't react i don't have any reaction oh so you stood there on the floor yes oh okay you didn't stand up you didn't you know like no. look around oh okay um one one me help me oh okay i was i was so embarrassed that i reacted super fast <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess reactions are different. Okay, guys, thank you so much for sharing your stories. We are going to, you can decide uh, whose stories we are going to share with everybody, right? So give me just a moment. You can discuss, you have one minute right now. Hello, Sophie. Hello, Noemi. How are you, girls? Teacher, I lose my connection. I think I saw it. Suddenly you disappeared. But are you okay? Are you fine? Are you working right now? No. Hello, I'm working in Red Cross. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> Do you work at the Red Cross? Yes, I am working in in a party uh, and right now with the band, banda LL y estoy cobrando las entradas y, y no puedo estar hablando. <gasps> Miss, why didn't you tell us? <laughs> no, yes, kidding, Miss. Go ahead. I, I totally get you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Oh, oh, super you. nice. Yeah, I saw the cross. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. That's okay. <laughs> All right. You. Okay, guys, uh, so uh, whose story was, I don't know, the funniest you heard or the most embarrassing you heard? Do we have any story? Did you select any? Or would you like to share your own story? Who wants to share his or her? Or I can pick some victims. In, in our group, mm -hmm. and the, the experience were dangerous experience <gasps> really and, <laughs> yes and a little funny experience oh so it was but very oh. while we trying to 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 get the the context i think mm -hmm. the funny is go away <laughs> oh okay <laughs> i think so it's it happened to me <laughs> so it was more dangerous you said so how dangerous yeah, my, my, my experience it was da dangerous sorry Why? because i said uh, that um, someday i drop it on mm -hmm. with the straw Okay. So wait, what? <laughs> wait, uh, um, yes. what, what kind of a straw are we talking? <laughs> because this, uh, 
Uh, there, uh, there was uh -huh. uh, two, two straws. Okay. Two straws, but uh, were unidas, no sé cómo se dice. Together. Together, the straws. They were yes. joined, okay. So I, I, stro I dropped them in my sunglasses, um, got broke. Oh, okay, bro. <laughs> they got broken. Okay. Yes, and that is it. The experience. So, um, I don't know if Dagoberto said that it's dangerous experience. It's not a fun experience. I mean, uh -huh. <laughs> probably it is fun to see you falling. <laughs> because yeah. normally when you see another person falling, you tend to laugh, right? Yes, but, uh, many people around me. Uh, they were loud, laughing. Loud, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, so you got entangled in the straw. Yes. Okay. It, I, it's not, I, it's I, not I, that you... Um, I put not... inside my, 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 my foot or my feet? My <clears> feet, <throat> right? Foot one, feet two. But my feet. I okay. put inside, uh, inside the straw. Okay. And it. when I... I Put my 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 feet my foot mm -hmm. so the straw uh, stand up the straw mm -hmm. and when I um, yeah, walk, when you when you stepped uh -huh, ahead yes, when when mm -hmm. I step and well fall <laughs> to the floor <laughs> you fell down okay so yeah you got entangled in the in the straw because I was thinking wait but the straws are super tiny how can that happen so you were well, entangled <laughs> uh -huh. ah, okay yeah because probably they were tied or something so that's why yeah but if you broke your glasses you know uh, that yeah, could because be my glasses oh. is, is falling falling down too oh yeah yeah that sounds like not a funny one <laughs> okay it's not that funny sounds huh? like an accident oh it was not at all all right thank you for sharing that guys does anybody else uh want to share his or her story i think the coolest well, not the coolest, but the, the story that I think was a little different was Enrique's. I read that when you fell down, when you're young, it's funny when you're old. <laughs> okay, so when you're young, yeah, because if you have an accident, that's it. But when you're old, you get broken. Your hip you get broken. Your arm gets broken. So yeah, you got to worry a little bit more. Um, so Enrique, would you like to share your story with the rest of us? I found that quite unusual, but interesting. So maybe Enrique wants to share. That's good. Um, I have problem with many words to say the message, but uh, but, I, but you did it nicely. Well, I, you did it nicely. I, 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 I make you a question uh, who moved my teeth was written side and I remember this book name because uh, this book was the was the way to to know my my wife my wife and me uh, <laughs> was a um, classmate when, in the pedagogical university. And the teacher say that we, we may read a book named Who Moved My Chief. And I say to, to all group, I, I, will, I will seek for the book in the web and I, I will share it out in the email. And I'll group in a I I found the book and I shared it with, with the old group. My wife, she write me, she sent me a message with 
for email. Uh, she continues uh, sending messages to me, and <laughs> uh, we went to the cafeteria. Teacher, what do you say? Cafeteria, yes. Cafeteria. We yes. went to the cafeteria, mm -hmm. and and we drank a coffee. And we begin to, to speak, and I say, yeah. and the first time we we were only friends, so we continue talking, and I say to her, I said to her, I I like her, and um, now we are married. <laughs> and the, for the year, for the yeah. year, the, the way it was the, the book. Yeah, so the, 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 I, the, I the book. book was the Cupid. <laughs> <laughs> book. This is a yeah. happy story. Yeah, so it, it was her. definitely it's a very nice we story. Have, uh, that was a cool we one. Have a, we have an um, a eight years old child. Oh. And we are married since 14 years. Yeah. Very, very, I love her. I love her very much. So it sounds like a very, like a very cool story. Like first it started with the book that was the Cupid. And it reminds me a lot to the memes in Spanish that say tres doritos después. So <laughs> 14 years later, <laughs> they are married. So it was, it was unusual because we were like talking about these experiences that are quite funny, embarrassing, but it was like, hey, this is different. So why not to share that? So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot for being with us on this Friday. Um, we appreciate your time. And just a little reminder, guys, eh, continuamos trabajando con la plataforma, right? Para que podamos avanzar, de ser posible, la terminemos y ya nos quedamos solo con la práctica. Thanks a lot, guys. Que disfruten su fin de semana. Have an amazing weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Or, or if you want, escribame. So write to me over, please, in bye WhatsApp. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, teacher. You're so welcome. Bye.